Hello there, welcome to IWD's Carnage pay-per-view. I am Ira Topia, announcing with... Tyler Steele. And the open match we're going to see is Grimhold the Striker. Striker added that he made a full recovery, but I don't know if all the damages are fully Fight. healed yet. We're going to the doctors, it is not. Well, hello there, and welcome to Ira Topia's Wrestling Domination. This is Chronic Pain Show Carnage pay-per-view. This game is Pro Wrestling X. Currently in early access on Steam, where you can buy it, as you can see from the link on the screen. Me, Ivatopia, and my uh, cousin, who's going to be helping out with this, have nothing to do with the game other than buying it and playing it and enjoying it. And I'd also like to add the opening music you can hear right now is from the title screen of the Pro Wrestling X game itself. Hope you enjoy the show. As we said, we've got Strike of this Grimhold. This is going to be a real fight, this is. It's going to be awesome. Uh, next up, we're going to have uh, the TJ Clips taking on Tirador. TJ wants to get off this losing streak he's on. Following that, we've got the no longer tender spot, and Happy Man has been added to it. That is right. We'll hear from him later. Crusher and Grasshopper. Then for the first extreme title, Sir Dave, Gary, and Grimhold. Again, we're going to see the Grimhold in action. And finally, the main event for the world title first ever, Ivan Reaver, Von Count, Overlord, and Gary. Quickly, we're just going to show the, the, the photo once again, what happened a few weeks ago, Striker. And at the end of the last episode, we did get a photo of this, unfortunately, but he got thrown off the stage. And I've heard... Now, unfortunately, uh, he says he's 100%. The doctor says he's not cleared to wrestle, but we're giving him benefit of the doubt. What are your thoughts on that, Tyler? Mm, I don't know. I mean, we'll just see how this plays out, I guess. That's all we, that's all we really can do. Yeah, because unfortunately, like, Grimhold wants to destroy Striker, and to me, Striker should be in the ring with him at this point. He, he should have rested. Well, I mean, he's fighting uncleared, so. I mean, he's wrestling at his own risk. Yeah. Obviously, he lost the title opportunity, the main event tonight. He could have been in it if he had actually competed in that ta his, his opening match. But unfortunately, as we believe, it's Grimhold who stopped him. Yeah, due to injuries, he couldn't participate in the match. Yeah, because at the time, he was unconscious, bleeding, and getting taken to the hospital. Speaking of Grimhold, this does not look good. Power bomb. Oh, I like an accordion. That ain't going to help your ribs, is it? It's like that can injure his ribs again. Yeah, I just heard we've got an interview with Ivan coming up. Let's go to it quickly. You're asking me what I feel about my little protege going out there, taking on Grimhold? Well, I basically want him to do the best he can. I know he's going to make me proud tonight. And not only is he going to make me proud... No, I don't even have to talk about it. Forget it. I don't even have to talk about it because he's going to win and off. And I'm going to become the new and first ever IWD World Champion because I'm that good. Just watch tonight and you'll see. Everything is for coming up Ivan Reaver time. Oh, it seems Ivan's just focusing on the world title. He believes Striker can take Grimhold. That's uh, awesome, isn't it, Tyler? But before you say anything, we've got to go to TJ Eclipse. We've got an interview. Here we go. My last match, I took a loss to Striker due to Theodore's interference. Well, let's just say I have a little surprise for Striker, and he's not going to like it one bit. I'll see you soon. Back with us. We'll talk about it in a second. Happy Band's interfering. Who's he going to attack, Tyler? Who do you think? I think he's going to go for um, Grimhold, Grimhold, I think. Yep. So that that uh, okay, I'll said it all. Okay, what do you think of TJ Clips words just? Um, basically, he's saying that he's gonna have some sort of surprise attack. I mean, what do you think? I don't know really, because getting inside that guy's head's hard sometimes. And also, I like to add what who spoke before him. Oh. You know, Ivan Reaver. What do you think about what he was saying? We get chance to give it to go to you. We have to go straight to TJ. Well, I think he was just trying to prove a point, basically saying that he's got his sights focused on the IWD World Heavyweight Champion, and it'll be an honor to be the first IWD Champion. Yeah, that's right. And one thing I'd just like to point out, Happy Man was accused. Whoa, look at that move! That was amazing! Power driver, and he, he moonsault, like a line salt, shoved him down for extra oomph. That was awesome. As I was trying to say before, Striker really interrupted me with his amazing move with Happy Man. Happy Man and Von Count were both accused, and Happy Man's out here helping Striker. Is this his way of trying to say, I didn't do it? Uh oh. Oh! That was intense! But now we gotta go to an uh, interview with Grimhold before the match. Here we go. Wanna know what I think about taking Striker as him going for me? As I put it the other week, if he goes for me, I'll take him out. End of. And as for my match later, exactly the same as this. You put him up, I'll knock him down. The only difference is I'll be wooded and will become the first ever extreme champion of IWD. Well back with us, that was an amazing move uh, Striker just pulled off. He did a line salt connected with Happy Man and Grimhold and Happy Man's leave it and he went for another moon salt and he missed. I think his ribs really hurting him. Well, speaking of which, what's this? The camera's going to the out back. 
DJ Eclipse! DJ Eclipse is coming out! Tyler, what do you think of this Raptor Talk? I'm going to hold it inside. What do you think of this? What's going on? I did not expect him to come out. I mean, this is a surprise. This is what he was talking about in his clip. Yeah. He's obviously annoyed that he lost to, to Striker and he wants some vengeance. Well, now they're just teeing away at each other. Ooh, a nice drop Oh, kick. he's blood. Oh. He's bleeding. This ain't good. He this ain't good. He gave everything he had in that drop kick. Yeah, this isn't good on Striker's part. I guess we need to quickly go. Oh, oh actually, wait, wait. Oh. oh. I think we quickly need to talk about what Grimhold said. What do you think, Tyler? Well, Grimhold just basically said what Ivan said. I mean, he basically said, I'm going to be the first champ. I mean, they're different titles. Yeah, the extreme course. title. They're, I mean, yeah, they're different titles. But, but he's in the opening want... match, and he's in the, the tournament, so... Yeah, they both want the same thing. So he's basically proven his point. Yeah, and obviously, a win he'll be great for him. Then go on and win the extreme title in that triple threat later tonight. Snake eyes. Ow, vicious. Striker, no! Oh, Ooh. RKO. TJ's back to his feet now. He's heading for striker. Ooh. Ooh, low blow right to TJ Eclipse. At the end of the day, he's not in the match, so he shouldn't be here, so he's yeah. not really cheating with that. He's trying to get away from this guy. Ooh, what a nice slam by TJ. Yeah, nice arm drag that was. Oh, the... He's picking him back to his feet here. I think he's, he's got four broken ribs. He shouldn't be in the ring. Ooh. Oh, that was not a good. Crushing slam by Grimhold. That was not good for striker. You got a feel for this guy. His heart is off the scale. It's off the scale, this guy. It's why he goes to the showstopper. But he's had. To, he's yet to have. Oh! Oh, another RKO. RKO. Grimhold's pinning him off it. Uh oh, this could be it. If he does, One. TJ's costing the match. Two. Kick out, striker. Kick out. Three. No. Grimhold won the match Game thanks to TJ's over. interference. Let go to the replays and tell me your thoughts on what just happened, Tyler. Well, I basically think that. TJ said what he's gonna go go out there and do. Basically said I have a I have a surprise for him, and it obviously went the way he wanted. That's that amazing power driver line so Two interferences in one match. I mean, one was for Striker and one was against Striker. Yeah, he's got hurt ribs. He really should have been in the ring with that, especially with Grimhold. He's a monster for crying out loud. We've got like Crusher and Overload up there, and Grimhold I mean, the three monsters. You can just see TJ just walking away because he knows it's over. That's yeah. two RKOs. And speaking of TJ, he's the next match versus Theodore. Ooh. Let's see if he can. Uh, and his losing use, streak. Yeah, well, let's see if he can use those skills he l used in the uh, interference there. Yep. What do you got to say about um, T T not TJ? The other guy, Teodor. Uh, I don't know. I I feel. I oh hope that he's a stepping stone to break uh, TJ's little curse okay, that's oh. going on. <laughs> the movie just uh, cost Striker his match with. Sorry about interrupting you then, but that was wow. I hope Carry he can on. break his losing streak. Is what I hope this is going to be. Oh, Ooh, beautiful drop kick! Same move TJ used in the last match to cut open Striker. Yep, definitely. Oh, <laughs> he's basically heard you. He's using it again. Now he's firing back at him. This is a, a good match so far. Grapple. I think it's a bit back and forth so far. Who's going to get the advantage? I don't know. It's too early to tell right now. I think TJ's got the weight advantage. He's got Ooh. a bit more muscle, but I think Tito's the faster one out of the two. Yeah. But saying that, TJ Eclipse, he can still move. Us, usually usually yeah. the bigger guys aren't the quick quicker ones, but you know, TJ's kinda of proved this wrong. Oh, oh another RKO. But as I was TJ saying, straight it's, to it's not about size or it's not about speed, it's how you use them. Yeah. You can be the world's fastest man, you can lose to everyone. Yeah. It's just how you use your skills. And especially as well, striker returned from injury. He defeated a TJ who also returned from injury. And on that same show, Striker was tossed off the stage and came back, still injured. But I believe TJ is truly 100% and Doctor has truly cleared him. So he's 100% again. I feel like he's so eager to break this little streak that he has going on for himself that he doesn't care if he's injured or not. He wants this to end now. Yep. See that move then? He whipped uh, him into the corner and he tried to stop himself. That was pretty cool. Another drop kick. Come on. This is a good back and forth match so far. Yeah. I don't, I don't think he's got the advantage, do you? Oh, nope. Looks like Theodore has kind of got the upper hand here. Important saying that, TJ might get to his feet and, uh-oh, saying that. We're going to see a moonsault? It's a moonsault, he's going to land it. Oh, yep. beautiful. And we've got a clip in the back coming up now with a happy man. He spoke earlier at the event, here we go to it. I've got some good news. After pinning Ivan Reaver, who's in the main event, you know, last week, Basically, what's going on is the, the people in the back have awarded me an opportunity for the title. Well, what did I say? They put me in the match involving Crusher. That guy, Grasshopper. But if I win, I'm a New York contender for the following pay-per-view. And that really makes me happy because I'm a happy man. 
Okay, we're back with us. That was pretty intense by Happy Man. Apparently pinning Ivan in that uh, main event last time. He's now been put in against Crusher and Grasshopper. But my thing is, is that real opportunity when you never crush her? You see how determined that guy is. What do you think, Tyler? Well, I have to kind of disagree. Anything can happen in this industry, as you can see. I mean, Striker was attacked twice, and, you know, doors just opened for him by pinning Ivan. I mean, anything can happen. Yeah, you're correct there. Speaking of which, I think Crusher's um, in the back and he's got something to say as well. Let's go to Crusher now. Grasshopper. Happy man. Who cares? I'm going to crush him tonight and a month from now become the world champ. End of. What was I just saying about uh, Crusher's confidence? That's why I don't know if this is an opportunity for I mean, Happy Man. This could be the end of his career. Basically, he just announced the IWD universe that he has the match in the bag already. Yeah, in his eyes, though, he's been screwed. He wasn't allowed in the World Tournament, wasn't allowed in the Extreme Tournament. And finally, the he, back... He finally I, squirmed his way in. I won't say he squirmed his way in, because... It, remember, he took on Tyler. Uh, Tyler Clips, TJ Clips, well, yeah, same name but, as you, and I he mean, destroyed him. Yeah, but no one saw that coming, did they? I mean, I well, sure didn't. No. Speaking of which, I'm in Therians, Overlords in the ring. What's this about? Uh -oh. <clears throat> Who's going to help? He's come out for a nice jog, it seems. But what do you think of Overlord in the ring at the moment, Tyler? Well, I mean, I don't even think he knows what he's doing, but I guess the real question is, who has the upper hand? Who is he out there to help? Yeah, so far he hasn't gone for anyone. Oh, speaking of which... He's looking, at, he's looking at the announce table. Who's he looking at, me or you? Probably you, oh, yeah. Man. This guy... Oh, look at that! Tia from behind! Oh, the guy's looking at you. <laughs> no, he's looking at you, then. I was about to add, uh, what do you think of the nice uh, arena we have for Kakanish today? Or the beautiful uh, that's a, red. That's a beautiful, that's a beautiful uh, ring out there. I yeah, mean, they're all. I mean, they're all red, but I mean, just it's it's, Kakanish it's, blood. It's, it's very well put together. Yeah, thank you. So uh, I had to hand pick it myself and get this venue picked out. Good job, well done. Thank you. Moonsault. Ooh. Overlord looks annoyed, but he's not doing nothing. I really don't know who he's looking at, I mean... Tito's looking at him! Stare down! Oh, oh. drunk into the face! What's Tito doing? I don't understand... You mean what Overlord's doing? I mean, excuse me. What is, you know, Overlord doing? I mean, what's the point of just standing in there in the, I don't in the know. middle of the match? Oh, pin! One, One two... two. TJ won a match! TJ won a match! Wow! 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 TJ won! Celebration, people! We've got his third victory! Oh my! Wow! What do you mean that, Tyler? Well, the, we match three, please. well, the clip that he sent, he said he was going to win. Did and he, he did it, yeah. And although well, Tim didn't fear, he did distract him. But uh, saying he that, he did he distract him. He did nothing. Yeah, he distracted him, looking like there, that replay, looking right at him. Yeah, I mean, but. And he, then TJ gets to his feet first, so he did interfere. TJ waited, being the smart one, waiting for the yeah, opportunity. Yeah, with that beautiful to spear. Himself. Then he goes for a spear, and that puts him out. What a great. Great match for TJ. I want to know why Overlord's helping TJ. He's he could be the world champ tonight. He's in the Maybe main event. Maybe that's why Overlord didn't do anything. He just took it because hey, he's the bigger guy. He's gonna take yeah. a lot more damage. Speaking of which, we've got a normal contender spot for the IWD World Title match. Uh, our paper for the next pay per view coming up next. And obviously we're going to be in there with Crusher, who we heard from earlier. He's gonna crush everybody. And we're in there we're with Happy Man. Yeah, the Happy Man. He's got the opportunity because he pinned Ivan. And of course, Grasshopper. He was a big fan favorite here. The crowd here going berserk what a, for him. What a great debut he had last week. Yeah. Fight. Here we go. Triple threat. Who do you my think's going to win my this? My only concern is can Crusher back up what he said earlier today? I think he can, but my thing is, Grasshopper, Happy Man needs to be smart, double teaming. Ooh. That was vicious powerbomb. When does that ever happen? Especially yeah. Oh, Happy Man took the ball shot. <laughs> He said, and he got power bomb for power powerbomb to Crusher. Yeah. From Grasshopper. Oh, Happy Man got the bull shot again! Look at this. He's just pushing his opponents off. Grasshopper is basically using Happy Man's balls oh, to get the advantage. Look at this. Have you ever seen that in wrestling before? Use another man's balls so you can get the advantage. That is all. Oh, his I've balls got it, caught that time. I've never seen this many low blows in my whole career of uh, announcing. Have you not been watching Ivan or Evans matches? Well, I have, but I mean, <laughs> come on. I mean, that's like, what, 10? Ivan hits like three or four, <laughs> at least. He's back to his feet, and we're going to go for... No, oh, a punch to the face. Crusher seems to be the target of this match. Yeah, well, to me, he should be. Well, he's, he's the big he's guy. He's the biggest one, you know, two-on-one -on -one handicap, and, and it's the smartest move. He had amazing debut. What the fudge is going on? Wow, he had amazing debut against Ooh. Tyler, who we saw win early tonight.
Well, Speaking of which, before you say anything, Tyler, we've got our interview with Gary going to the back and now, we'll, and we'll get straight back to you, Tyler. Tonight, I could become the IWD first ever extreme, extreme with an X champion. <laughs> the madness is growing in me. There's a method to the madness. Remember that. Remember that. <laughs> Hey, we're back with us and uh, crushing the top roll. We'll talk about Gary in one second. Let's see if he hits his moonsault. Oh, in, oh, happy that move just in time. That was an amazing move. Tyler, quickly what you think about the match and then go on to what you think what Gary just said. Well, I mean, I think the match is going how I thought it would. They were teaming up on him and now Chris was getting the upper hand. And back to Gary. Gary just sounded like he just escaped the uh, same asylum. Basically, he's saying that he's going crazy and the madness is growing within him. Yeah, and also, uh, with Gary, and remember, he is in the um, stream tournament match, and straight after in the world tournament, he could win both belts tonight. So far, he's lost every match up until when it counted. And obviously, he's been helping Ivan win matches. Hmm. What do you think of him? Think of who? Gary, the guy we're just talking about, the purple dude. Excuse me, I'm a little focused on the match here. Um, I think he's a real nut job. I mean, I don't know. He's, he's alright. He's an okay wrestler. I... The thing is, personally, I don't see him going too far. I see more of these guys. I mean, even Grasshopper, he's more of a rookie in the industry, but, I mean, to me, he's a lot better wrestler and more well put together than Gary is. Hmm. Gary probably has something different to say about that, but I don't want to get on the bad side of that guy. He, he seems insane to me. Just say it. So that's up to you, Tyler. You want him to go after you. I mean, I guess I already had a stare down from Overlord, so yeah. <laughs> not much more I can be scared than that. Yeah. Speaking of which, let's get back to the match. Okay, who do you think's got the advantage? I was probably saying... I was going to say Crusher, but he's getting hit in the face. Oh, no, yeah, definitely Crusher. What do you think, Tyler? Um, Crusher has the upper hand, but I think the most moves that have been dealt have been from Grasshopper. I mean, he's just basically been out-wrestling both of them. Yeah, and unfortunately for Happy Man, his balls are inside him currently. The amount of a whole lot of balls he took <laughs> earlier in the match. Always Spanks. back to the balls, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, he got put inside him two or three times. And that, I still think that's an amazing move. On the, oh, speaking of amazing move, see that uh, stand up uh, out of nowhere by um, Grass Chopper. Top rope, top rope. Oh, oh and he, he connect, connected Maybe. with Grass Hopper and also. Get up, he might be able to make a pin. Nope. Grass oh, he's going to go for a pin, but Grass Hopper's not going to yeah. allow it. I mean, come on. Wow. Grass Hopper kicking him. Grass Hopper's doing one on his feet. Now Crusher is back on his feet. He's putting his hands up, trying to dodge the punches. It worked. Yeah, he's standing he still. About broke his jaw. Mm -hmm. Now they're going to do a grapple. Uh oh, what's this power drive? Power, a, power bomb. Going for a power bomb. Oh, Ooh. accordion. I called it like. Uh oh, grass. Grasshopper's going for a quick That's cheeky. <laughs> Chris is like, no, you don't. How dare you? Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh. Uh oh. That what? was his original pin. So two. two. For, oh, two. Happy Man's got to say he's resilient. Yeah. He's shown that he's resilient. He, he can take a hit. That's for sure. Uh, like, as I was trying to get talked about earlier, I completely went off topic. Oh, RKO. Basically, where he got his ball shoved inside him. That was pretty amazing, the way that happened. Because Grasshopper used him to, 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 so he could take advantage of the match. That was awesome. Speaking of which, we got an interview with Tyler. We're going to him. Now, basically, we're going to find out uh, what, what his thoughts are and why he attacked Striker earlier. And, 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 and what he thought about his match with Theodore. Here we go. My interference on Striker's match was not personal. It was a message to the IWD universe that I'm not playing games anymore. I'm here to win. If you want to hear what it meant to me, stay tuned. Okay, we're back to the match. But there were some fighting words from TJ. He wants to impress the universe. Uh, what's your thoughts on that? Well, basically my understanding from that is basically saying that it was nothing personal. It's just business. Basically sending the message to the IWD universe and all the wrestlers that he's not playing games, he's here to wrestle, not to lose. My only thing I have with him is, he went after a hurt guy. He could have picked anyone to go after, why go after Stryker? He suffered from a loss which added to his streak. Not only was Stryker uncleared, so was Tyler. That's... I mean, they were both injured, and they're still currently both are injured. That's something we, we haven't gone on. Striker technically was undefeated up until that point. That's his first loss. Because, yes, he technically lost the tournament match, but that's only because he couldn't show up for the match. So, to me, I don't count that as being pinned. Speaking of two. which, two. Oh, oh my gosh. Grasshopper. What did I say? Grasshopper. The rookie takes the win. What an underdog this guy is. 
Why did you see that? Crusher, we've gone to the replay, so you can't see this, but Crusher has basically got Happy Man in Dragon Sleeper. The first thing I said when this match opened, my first worry is what can, can Crusher basically back up what he said earlier tonight, and he did not. But he wasn't pinned. So technically, he's he yet to have his shoulders pinned. He was not pinned, but he lost because he did not win. Yeah, but he's still technically undefeated in single matches and then two someone pins his shoulders. You're either Grass the winner or you're the loser. Yeah. Speaking of which, well, we have to go to the next match. This is for like, the first ever IWD Extreme title. I Sir Dave, Gary and Grim Hold again. What's your thoughts on this? I think Sir Dave might take the win here, but I mean, hey, you know, screws loose over there, Mr. Gary. Mm. He might, he might take the win. They all have an equal chance, but you also have to remember Grimhold. Yeah. Sir Dave is undefeated currently. Jack, uh, Jack. I mean, Gary. Why well, don't call him Jack? I don't know. But Gary is actually, he's probably on the lot, the, the more the losing side of matches. Over the he's more counted. of a mid card. Yeah. Sir Dave and Grimhold are more of um. How Gr would you say it? They're more main eventers. More main eventers. This one. Well, you know, uh, Grimhold. He has lost to Ivan, but Ivan did cheat. Well, actually, because of Gary. His first loss, his first debut match, was because of Gary screwed him out of the match. So there's some history between them two. Right there. But at the moment, they seem to be dual teaming so Dave. The only thing I have to say is, as I say every single week, what an honor it will be to be called the first IWD Extreme Champion. Yeah, with a big battle X. Exactly. So these are the two, these two, one of these three, sorry, are going to make history tonight. Tonight. The only person I do not want winning is Gary. I think that he's more of a, like I said, more of a mid card, more of a jokester. He's, the other two wrestlers are more well put together. They're just better wrestlers. I could see, I mean, I could see Grimhold. Like, how long do you think he could keep his title? I mean, yeah. for a long time, he'd have one of the longest title reigns we've ever seen. Well, obviously, whoever wins at first will have the longest one to the well, yeah. beat him. I'm just saying, you know, if he if he won the title, you know, how yeah, long would his reign be? Probably a long time, because he's a I monster. I feel like Gary may be, may, may be able to pull off a win Ooh, here. Oh, we got a pin, pin. One, oh, two, Grimhold. Gary allowed that. What was that about? Maybe Gary's trying to realize that. Or maybe, maybe he's trying to make friends with Grimhold. Yeah. You know, little guy with the big guy. Yeah, do you see that double drop kick that to Dave oh, dunked before gosh. he got smashed in the face? I was about to uh, uh, compliment him on that dunking the <laughs> double drop kick, and then I he gets can, up and gets a regular one. I can basically one. tell you right now, I don't need x-rays <laughs> oh. to say he just shattered his nose. Yep. Sir Dave has a broken nose in this match. I would say this match so far, Sir Dave is being double teamed a lot. He's, he's, he's fighting. He wants to be a fighting champ. Can he win tonight and become a fighting champ? Oh, this doesn't look good. Oh, this ain't good. Oh, to the back. Oh, that double hook go back breaker. That was impressive by Grimhold. Oh, Gary's turned on him. We finally get a triple threat now, are we? Before, I was I said this was a handicap match. But I guess it made sense in Gary's part. Grimhold has already wrestled tonight, so he's already a weaker state. Yeah, Sir Dave's the fresh guy, and so is Gary. So if he Gary teams with Grimhold to take Sir Dave out, he's got two weak guys in there, two hurt guys. To not 100% is few it, time. Is it just me, or does it feel like Gary and Grimhold talked this out before the match? Seems like it. Gary's insane. Maybe there's more going up in that little noggin of his than we give him credit for. I mean, he's kind of smart to team with the bigger guy, but you have to remember, he's the bigger guy. This is top for rope, a title. Top rope, top rope, gotta stop you, top rope. Oh, wow, that was amazing. See that amazing move? So took and Grimhold straight to his feet. Wow. So <laughs> that's my he's only a monster. problem. I mean... You can't trust anyone in a Grimhold triple tripped. threat title match. No, Grimhold tripped over then. He slipped on Ashley. He slipped on Sir Dave's blood spots. Did you see that? Him bleeding Ashley against Grimhold. Oh, he drop kicked him as he took him down. That was an amazing move. He's gonna have a flat oh, nose by the time he's done. Come on. This is not right. Sir Dave's just getting pummeled by the two of them. Like I said, he might as well be called a handicap match at this stage. Oh! Speaking of which, uh, we've got the rest of that interview with uh, Tyler Clips where he told us basically come back to the later on. Here we go! This win that I had tonight meant everything to me, and it, what an honor it is to be on Carnage, the first pay-per-view of IWD. Hope to see you all soon, and have much more to prove in this industry. Okay, we're back, back with us. There's a great match going on. Tyler, what do you think of what TJ just said? Uh, I think 
I think I, I really liked what he had to say. I mean, basically, he was just saying that it was a real honor to be here, and that match meant everything to him. I mean, it was his first win, and it happened to be at a pay-per-view. That was big, definitely. Because, again, first pay-per-views only happen one time, and get, get a win there. How many can do that? Not and many, but apparently him. Oh, top row, what's going on? Oh, he's got to pin him! Oh, he missed! This could uh, be it! One, two! Two! He kicked Ooh. out, Grimhold. Speaking of which... We could have just had our new champ. Yeah, speaking of which, uh, we got, Striker's got something to say. We're going to Striker now. You want to know how I feel after losing the pay-per-view? I went in there with four broken ribs against Doctor's Orders. And I, and I believe I should have beat Grimhold tonight. But because of a certain TJ Eclipse... Yeah, that's a very sore note. Had to stick his nose in because he's a sore loser after I beat him. Coming back from injury last show. And he had to interfere. And do I believe? Do I, the showstopper, believe that Krim Holders don't have to be in the ring with him? I don't think he attacked me. I want to find out who did though. And I will. Wow, you've got to give the striker some credit and some heart. He's annoyed over... In his eyes, a cheap win to TJ did, the way he screwed him before. But at the same time, he, he, he was in the lion's den with Grimhold, who's knocking Sir Dave around as we speak, looked him in the eyes, and he's, he's come away with a loss, and he doesn't believe that he's the actual one who attacked him now. What, what's your thoughts on this, Tyler? Well, I mean, I have to agree with you there. I mean, he was in there with him, you know, stood face to face. He looked him in the eyes. He just didn't see him being the one to attack him. Oh uh, yeah, and I also have to add, Grimhold basically said if he gets in his way, he would destroy him. But he never actually said he did destroy him. Remember in them interviews. So maybe it wasn't him, it's just Grimhold's thing, you're in my face, is, I'm taking you out. It doesn't look like it's him, but at this point, you know, everyone's going after each other to be a champ. And you just can't trust anyone right now. So, it doesn't look like it's him, but there's always the chance. Yeah. So we don't know for sure. Maybe, maybe we can find out tonight, or maybe we'll find out next week on IWD Chronic Pain. We don't know. Speaking of which, let's get back to the match quickly. Oh, so Dave is unconscious in his own blood. Oh, double drop kick. They both drop. Gary's the first one to get up. Sir Dave's back to his feet. Okay, what's going on now? Oh, Grimhold's cut, and we have to go quickly to Grasshopper's Fort on becoming number one contender for the next pay per view. Let go to it now. You want to know how I feel about being the number one contender for next month? Ecstatic. Can't imagine how to do with Gar's feel, but. I will be the next champ. Oh yeah! It could hear Grasshopper. We finally got to Crusher's thoughts on his loss. Let go to Crusher and see what he thought about the loss. You know how I feel about losing my number 10 to spot. That's exactly how I feel. <laughs> wow, I think that says it all. Apparently Crusher after that scream is now smashing the back room up. Security is trying to pin him down and uh, put the zip ties on his hands to get him out. Yeah, I'm hearing the back of that. He's just thrown five people in one move. Wow. Speaking of which, back to the match. Grimhold, one, two, three. Three! Gary Grimhold didn't stop wins. it. Gary did not stop it. What was that what about? I tell you? They made an alliance before the match. I mean, there's no other explanation. Oh, he's picking, no, he's picking Sir Dave up then. Yeah, but what is he going to do? For a Grimhold to attack him again? We've gone back to replays, but this yeah, he's second in. This is the first alliance, real alliance that we've seen. He gave up his title shot for him. Yeah, Gary's meant to be teaming with Ivan. But uh, anyway, quickly, why would he replay his on? Grasshopper seems to decide to be number one tender. Next pay-per-view, he could be the world champ. And uh, as we watch these replays and we see Grimhold pin, and look at this, Gary gets up. He could stop it now. He doesn't. But he then attacks Sir Dave after the match. Onto the back for the world, the champion contender force before their big match coming up. You know what I think my chances are tonight in my opponents? Simple, I'm going to win. Von Count, he's a bald idiot. Overlord, a fat Dumbo. Gary's the only one I've got some respect for. Because he's insane, but he listens to me. <sighs> what do I think of my opponents? Well, what do I say really about Ivan? He basically accused me when he had no right. But he was defending his friend, so I had to give him credit for that. Overlord, well, that's going to be a mountain to defeat him and as for Gary he's insane I do not want to be in the ring with that guy he is crazy but I'm gonna do it I will be the new champ that's what I think is gonna to happen tonight I will win if they ask him me who's gonna to win tonight just look at me it's not even a contest I'm against one guy who's 
who runs from competition, you know, Ivan and Crusher, that little wimp, yeah, I'm against another guy who attacks slumpier people than him, but I'm counting the back, yeah, and then, last but not least, I've got that little insane purple dude, I don't even know why he's even in this match, he just lost his last match for crying out loud, why is he even here? You're asking me what my chances of tonight? Well, quite simple. There's method to the madness. That guy's made everybody hate his guts. Hate his guts and for nothing. Because you got to keep your eyes in the skies to see the new champion tonight. <laughs> That's pretty cool, but right now we've got Ivan Reva, IW, IWD World Heavyweight title match coming up. Obviously, Ivan Reva's taking on Von Count, who's taking an overload here on Gary. It's a fatal four way match. I'm so excited, aren't you, Tyler? This is why we're here. This is why we're here. What do you thought, Tyler, and what, what the interview just said? Especially Gary. Look to the skies. What was that about? I don't know. Maybe a hint that his last move would be a high fly. I don't know. Guess we're going to find out. Because he lost the last match, what he basically gave to Grimhold. And now he's in a fate of four because technically he's wrestled twice in a row, the second time tonight. And we're off! And Ivan Streetway's taken down! Look at that! Ivan didn't go for Gary. I do we have an alliance here? Oh, great takedown by Ivan! Von Kamp trying to get away from Ivan, but he's not. Ivan's not going to let that happen. Nope. Who's your thoughts on the win for this? Oh, beautiful! Sorry to interrupt you, but that was a beautiful lion so took Von Kamp out. Alright, carry on, Tyler. To be honest, I think it's going to be Ivan, or it's going to be Gary. Okay, we got to go to an interview with Sir Dave and what he thinks about his loss. Here we go. I want to know how Sir Dave feels about losing his opportunity to be the first ever IW Extreme Champ? Well, it sucks, plain and simple. But I'm going to pick myself back up, get back on the horse, and I'll soon get some gold, maybe the world, maybe the extreme, around my waist. That's pretty cool. So Dave's not complaining really, he just wants to get back on the horse and set sights for the goal. Reminds me of what TJ is, actually speaking of that, don't you think Tyler? Well, basically he's just throwing his loss aside and basically saying he's going to move on and be better. That's really all you can do. Yeah. So far, have you seen this? Ivan and Gary are basically working together. Beautiful moonstruck by Ivan again. Like I said, they're an alliance, so it's going to come down to the alliance and they're going to have to break at some point. Oh, it's going to be Ivan or Gary. But Overthought is a monster. He's up there with Grimhold I mean, and Crusher. It's not an elimination, so you have to think, you know. You know, they're the dominating two right now. So it comes down to it. One of them is going to come out champ. And, you know, it's going to be one of those two. Did you just see what happened? He put him in the sharpshoot and Gary basically shouted at him. And now I took it. Oh, my. Whoa. That was amazing. He took all three out. Whoa. Look at that, Tyler. Oh, oh and he's straight that down. And they're all going for him. Gary's got an attitude. What the hell? Oh. Oh. Double low, 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 low. Now the alliance is broke, just like I said. <laughs> this is like three and one. Oh, oh. KO. This is a look Missed good drive. Drop kick. Dives over for an RKO. Wow. This is just intensified. What's your thoughts so far, Tyler? I think it's extraordinary so far. Oh, low blow to the little purple dude's ball sack. Well. That was a little disturbing the way you described it, but that's what happened. Very purple. I'm top rope. His balls are probably Moon about salt. as purple as his outfit. Oh, he caught Gary open! <laughs> the lines might be broken, as you said. Wow. And Gary switched to his feet. This guy's just insane. Gary and Ivan. Oh, free on Ivan again. <laughs> Ooh, that impact was just nasty. That's the one thing. Everybody doesn't like Ivan for some reason. I don't know what it is. I think mean, he's a nice dude, personally. The reason they're all going after Ivan is Ivan has the most chance to win. I mean, you have to think about how dominant and how great his um, his inventory of moves he has. I mean, he's just a great wrestler. Yeah, speaking of which, he might be pinned here. Are they going to, no, they think they'll allow that. No, Gary definitely wouldn't allow that. Oh, double blow, blow. We have some purple and red balls now. And Ivan dropped. Oh, he missed. Oh, okay, I'm sure Gary's helping him up. Those slams are finally getting to his head. Cool, Gary's getting thrown around by three guys in there. Ooh, oh, drop he dropped, kick kicked him. Slam. Yep. This has been a tense match so far, don't you believe, Tyler? Oh, I think I went for a low blow and he got caught. Into a vicious pile driver! And he's caught open, look at that blood! Oh, he's getting pinned from it! Oh my gosh, is he okay? Ooh. He could be unconscious with this. Double pin break. Oh, he's back to his feet, though. What's he gonna do? Whoa, Lion Soul! Oh, oh, it's a back takes head. out Gary. Wow, what a I've what heard, a apparently, Gary has something pre recorded he wants to tell everyone in the back. Well, I guess we go to it. I'll find out what it's about.
My mind just comes clear. Look to the skies, I don't believe I like to the sky. <laughs> what was that about? That picture! Come on, make it big, please! We've got to get it, make it big! Big! Make it big! Is it worth it? I see no. <laughs> wow, look at this! Make it big! Come on! Oh, look at Ivan just staring at the Titan Tron! Oh, we got it big, finally! Look, that's Ivan! He attacks Striker! Oh my! Ivan attacks Striker! What do you think, Tyler? I have no words to explain this. I mean, this is just terrible. His mentor basically destroyed his pupil. Yeah, Ivan's in the ring now, staring at the Titan Tron. He, he looks dumbfounded. He looks shocked that he's been caught out. And Gary had this picture the whole time. That's what that look at the skies was about. As you can see behind the scenes, you can see that he was there to take the picture hiding. Yeah. So he must have known where the arrangement was going to be. Yeah, look, look, it's just, dude, look at it. He's it, forgot about the match. Gary's pinning. What's going on? One, One two, two, three. I didn't realize. Three. Yes. Yes. Gary's down the world done it. World it. Heavyweight IWD champion, Gary. And look, I was stupid and dumbfounded. Wow, got to replace. But Ivan's dumbfounded. He's that shot. He's caught out. He's that shot. Gary put the picture up to distract Ivan for the championship. And it worked. Wow. Look at the skies. He went. Ivan took at the skies. He said Ivan basically backstabbed everyone to get here. Was it worth it? No, because he didn't win the world title. That was so amazing. <laughs> wow, I can't believe that. That came together so well. Gary's. We, you would think he's a mid carder. Gary doesn't have the brains. He just proved you wrong. He's proved the universe wrong. He's proved me wrong. He's proved everyone wrong. Especially he, Ivan! He wow! Be on his own roster! Yeah, that was amazing! God, what, how, how great is that to be the world, like the first world champ? Yeah! That uh, is amazing! And we're going back to that pitch, that is awful! I guess Ivan's going to explain this in the next show, where we go back to uh, Chronic say, Pain! Ivan deserved that. Well, well done Gary, well done. I'll give you that much. Basically, Ivan backstabbed everyone, and Gary backstabbed him! Wow, he was the one one guy in the match you did not believe was the threat. This is our first pay-per-view, and I promise you this will probably be one of our best. Yeah, wow, and, and, and what's I'm going to say? Explain this on when it comes to chronic pain. He's got to come back and explain his actions. I'll have to see next week. Wow, what a pay-per-view. Uh, congratulations to Gary being the insane first IWD world champion. And obviously, congratulations... Again, congratulations to the first ever extreme champion, Grimhold. That's been an amazing night, and like, subscribe, and that good stuff. We'll see you in chronic pain. Bye, everyone.